Following this, Yuji was attacked, but he managed to block the attack with a barrier. Additionally, Yuji freed Priest Stale with a spell. After that, Yuji learned from Priest Stale that the enemy's name is Walter. Walter was pleased to see the Divine Emissary and thanked Priest Stale. However, Yuji was attacked by two strong monsters, and his slimes instantly defeated them. Then Yuji and Priest Stale were surrounded by enemies. Suddenly Walter managed to escape and he went to a hidden room. Then Walter sat on a throne, which was designed to give him more strength. Walter received incredible powers with the evil device. Suddenly, Yuji appeared to stop Walter's transformation. They didn't make it in time, and he turned into a giant beast. Yuji tried to destroy the transformation with fire magic, but Walter gained a new power. Yuji was then attacked, but his proud wolf protected Yuji. After that, Walter grew horns out of his head, and his body evolved into a demon that could shoot a laser beam out of his mouth. Yuji immediately created a barrier to protect himself. Also, Yuji attacked Walter with a slime. Walter was able to dodge in time, and he was looking forward to fighting Yuji. Following this, Yuji prepared his next spell. So Yuji and his slimes cast a spell together, and they attack their enemy with fire spells. Suddenly Walter tried to fly away, but Yuji cast more spells. The slimes shot fireballs at their opponent and they managed to hit him. Then Yuji's slime realized that her enemy is unharmed. However, Yuji told his familiars to use their magic gears, which would power them up. Meanwhile, Yuji was protected by his slime, and they were able to successfully activate the gear. Following this, Yuji cast many spells that enhanced his familiar's powers. Followed his familiars used their speed to surround Walter. Walter couldn't get away from the two, and he had been cornered. As a result, Yuji's slime used a powerful fireball that his enemy couldn't deflect. So Walter was badly injured, and his body had a hole. Suddenly, Walter discovered the other monsters, and he absorbed his comrades to regenerate himself. Yuji was surprised, and he attacked Walter again with a spell. But Walter was angry, and he absorbed the remaining monsters into his body again. He was able to evolve for a second time, and wanted to attack Yuji. Following this, Yuji transferred fire spells to his slimes, and they shot Walter with many fireballs. Followed Yuji was attacked, but he managed to escape with Proud Wolf. Then Yuji was chased, and he kept attacking Walter. After that, Yuji used a petrification spell, and Walter was overwhelmed. As a result, he attacked Yuji with his Gum Gum Gatling. Yuji's barrier could no longer withstand the attack. Suddenly Yuji said he can start to activate his finisher move, so he tied up Walter, and his slimes shot more webs at Walter. After being unable to move, he was attacked by Yuji with his most powerful fire spell. The slimes were happy about the victory, but Walter laughed. At Walter's last moment, he activated a spell. Priest Style realized that he was wrong. He then told Yuji to take care of himself. Suddenly the whole room lit up, and the magical energy of the dead monsters was absorbed. Johan was absorbed as well, and Yuji protected him and his friends with a magical barrier. The whole room glowed purple, and Priest Style was shocked. When the glow stopped, a new warrior appeared and he said that he is a sage. Yuji asked if the enemy is Walter. But Priest Style replied that he hadn't told Yuji the whole truth. Then Priest Style said he had no idea that Walter's death summoned the sage. Yuji learned that Walter was preparing a ritual to summon a god. Yuji was shocked by the story. Suddenly he was attacked with a fire spell. Yuji was able to deflect the attack, but the slimes were shocked because he cast the same spell as Yuji. Followed this, Yuji told his slimes to get ready for battle. Then Yuji began to enhance his slime's strengths with many buffs. After that, Proud Wolf jumped in the air with the slimes. So Yuji's slimes immediately attacked the enemy, but the sage was able to deflect the attack with a barrier. Yuji immediately ordered his slimes to spread throughout the air for the next attack. Then the slimes surrounded the enemy by jumping on Yuji's created barriers. Followed all slimes attacked the guy from all directions, but he was able to deflect the attacks with one hand. Suddenly, the sage attacked Yuji's slime, and Yuji teleported them away. Yuji's slimes couldn't hurt the sage. Additionally, Yuji noticed that he has almost no MP left. Yuji tried to think of a new plan against the enemy. After that, all slimes attacked together, and he transferred a tenfold ice spell into his slimes. The enemy's whole body was frozen, but he immediately freed himself. The slimes then launched their second attack, and used a tenfold fire spell, which slammed the sage into the ground. Yuji hoped they won, but the sage survived the attack. Then Yuji was attacked, and he countered with the same spell. The two were equal in strength, and their attacks caused a lot of damage. Suddenly Yuji felt dizzy from almost running out of MP. 
Yuji managed to overwhelm the enemy with his spell, but the enemy wasn't defeated. So the slimes were shocked that the enemy survived Yuji's fire attack. Following this, the sage activated a dangerous spell that would destroy the entire world. This is how we see purple laser beams caused by the sage. He activated machines that can produce rain. Subsequently, the monsters got angry and they behaved strangely. Priest Style was shocked because the sage tried to destroy the entire world. Meanwhile, all towns were the targets of strong monsters and the adventurers failed to defeat the attacking monsters. Suddenly, the monsters started to hunt the adventurers, but a few of Yuji's slimes were patrolling around the towns. After that, Yuji told Priest Stale about the artificial rain machines. Suddenly the sage floated in the sky and he transmitted his memories to Yuji. Yuji learned that eventually another legendary dragon will appear, who the next sage will have to fight. This is how Yuji learned that his enemy wanted to redeem the world to stop the cycle. Followed the enemy attacked Yuji with a fire spell and Yuji knew that his barrier didn't manage to stop the attack. So Yuji countered with the same attack and they caused many explosions. Priest Style was amazed at the clashing forces. Suddenly, his slimes reported him about some problems with the angry monsters. So Yuji transferred his spells to stop the monsters going into town. Yuji was using a lot of spells, and his MP was in the minus zone. The troubles didn't end, and Yuji was exhausted. Suddenly, Dryad reported to Yuji that all's residents of Fastan are gathering at the city gates. The residents knew that Yuji had saved their town. They were ready to destroy the monsters themselves this time. Yuji then told his slimes to help the adventurer fight. Suddenly, the other slimes reported that residents in different cities had the same idea. They all knew of Yuji's exploits, and they wanted to do their best to defend the city. After that, we see Geigel, he lent equipment to the knights. Then he said, they are ready to beat up the monsters. Yuji was surprised, because he always worked alone in his old life. However, Yuji was happy, because he didn't have to face the problems alone. As a result, Yuji was able to focus on the enemy. Before his fight started, he activated spells to buff all the adventurers. They all got stronger and could defeat the monsters. Suddenly, Priest Style reported to Yuji that the gods were sending him a message. Following this, Yuji got the idea to drink a slurp drink from Fortnite and he got a lot of V-Bucks with the potion. So Yuji's MP was restored and he immediately went into battle. After that, Yuji was asked why he wants to protect the world. Suddenly, Yuji remembered the friends he had met as the new sage in the Isekai world. He wanted to protect everyone and wanted them to continue living happily. Then the battle between the two sage from another world began. The former sage attacked and Yuji blocked with the same attack. After that, the sage said that unlike Yuji, he has infinite MP. Suddenly, a finisher spell countdown appeared. Yuji used the divine strike on his enemy. He was immediately seriously injured and fell to the ground. Then Yuji remarked that he can use the lightning spell of Pikachu again. As a result, Yuji attacked his enemy again, and he was able to use them continuously for 30 seconds. Yuji attacked the sage with several bolts of lightning, but his enemy was not defeated. Following this, Yuji wanted to use his legendary dagger, and he ordered his slimes to help him attack. So the slimes jumped around and said they were ready. Following this, Yuji concentrated his strongest spell into the dagger. When the power was concentrated, Yuji started to attack. The sage also attacked with his strongest spell, but Yuji created a barrier. His slimes used all their power, and Yuji was able to successfully trap the enemy in Yuji's black barrier. The sage was shocked by the strong barrier. Also Yuji attacked the sage in the same time, and he managed to destroy the sage's body. As a result, Yuji caused a big explosion, and Yuji won the fight. All adventurers could feel Yuji's explosion wave and were surprised. Then Yuji fell down from exhaustion, and he was glad to have protected the entire world. Later we see Priest Style in the church praying to God. Then he got up and wished Yuji good luck with his further journey. In the evening his familiars asked why he wanted to leave the city of Ordarian. Yuji replied that the Blue Moon Organization members are still alive and he doesn't want to cause any trouble. However, Yuji learned that everyone was celebrating the victory. All cities started a party and they were happy to live happily. Yuji's slimes told him about the happy ending in the cities. His slimes were happy too that nobody was hurt. Meanwhile, other members of the evil organization found out about Walter's death. They still had the plan to destroy the world. One of the members said that soon they will be able to use the secret weapon and they will sacrifice their lives. The members plan to summon the Black Dragon of Ruin. Then we see Yuji's slime spying on the evil organization. Yuji heard about their plan 
and he didn't want to be disturbed at dinner. After that, a huge tiger appeared that wanted to attack Yuji. Following this, Yuji and his familiars were surrounded by monsters. The next morning, Yuji arrived in a new city, and he wanted to take an assignment. Then Yuji said that he defeated all the tigers on the way to the city. After that, the guild worker learned that Yuji alone defeated the monsters. She thought all his party members got eaten by the tigers, so she tried to cheer up Yuji and said, the members must be in paradise. Suddenly Megi appeared, and she found out about Yuji's order. She looked at the defeated monsters and immediately noticed that Yuji had defeated them alone. As a result, Megi said she heard rumors of a famous tamer. Yuji realized that he is known as a hero now. Also his slimes were happy that Yuji was recognized as the new hero.